Hello everyone, Sora here again. It's been a hot minute since I posted um, anything, anything to this channel. Well today I got something, got a little some some in the mail. Um, thought it would be fun to do a little unboxing slash first impressions slash review of a toy that I just got um, from something that I recently just got into. I can hold on to the thing, right? Um, can't show that. It has my address on it. Um, let's see here. So, the talk of the town these past few weeks has been a little show that's been going on for like about a decade. And then I got in on the hype train. Um, and I started, of course, as with anything that I get, get into, I started buying merchandise for it. What better merchandise to celebrate my newfound fandom with a toy? That's right, I'm talking about Game of Thrones. So McFarlane just came out with a series one. I think I think like a few months ago actually. This is not that old. Um but it is it is relatively old. Um Game of Thrones action figures. Um this is not the same type of clamshell packaging that I'm used to. This is more like NECA's old clamshell packaging actually. Um, but this is based off of Jon Snow from Season 7, so spoilers, um, if you haven't seen all the way up to Season... Actually, no, it's straight up, if you're just not caught up, don't watch this video. <laughs> I might point some shit out, but, um, this is his outfit based off of his attire in Season 7. And, um, I thought that it would be a lot easier to open, actually, but apparently it's not. So, I'm gonna pause the video real quick, and, um... Let's go back to me with the box opened. Hang on. Okay. Okay, we're back. Um, I tried to just cut, not ruin the packaging as much, so I just cut like a slit right here. I'm not a perfect human, so I did ruin that little bit right there. But um, just to show you what the back looks like, it has all of the characters from the first wave. So you have Jon Snow right up here, and he has his sword long claw, and he has a blade of... Uh, dragon glass you have daenerys targaryen with um looks like the little um pieces she uses to represent like during her battle strategies she has of uh, the second sons the unsullied and the Dothraki. you have the night king he has his like little ice spears and weapons Arya with her needle and um uh the dagger the um little fingers dagger and also um viserion the uh, die, the Night King's dragon. Um, anyway, um, on the front, um, a lot of the, uh, the packaging looks very similar to all of them. Um, it just has the Game of Thrones logo on the back, or sorry, on the bottom, has the name of the character on the side, and, um, the house that they're associated with, which is, that's a spoiler. Um, anyway, let's just pull them out here, I guess, real quick. That is, like, straight up a spoiler. <laughs> That's so weird. Um, just from, like, videos I've seen of, like, people that have shown, like, you know, like, um, Arya, of course, has the, the, um, the, the wolf associated with how Star Daenerys, of course, has the, has the same dragon head. Um, Night King has no house associated with him. Um, just the fact that Jon Snow just straight up has the Targaryen house symbol in there. Like, why would you do that? Um... You might as well have called this figure figure Aaron Targaryen. Um, anyway, um, right off the bat, on the very back of it, is his little figure stand. Just says Game of Thrones on the bottom. I dig this. I like a nice, decent, just a plain old figure stand. Looks like... is we'll get back to you in a second um here it is the first accessory he has long claw um little little, little paint spittle right there if it'll focus little, little paint chip not paint chip but like it looks like a little error in painting right there but the top of the the pommel itself is actually it's nicely sculpted i don't know if i can 
I can get the camera to focus on that a little bit. I I saw I saw pictures of the I saw videos of like the original Funko Game of Thrones legacy figures of uh, this exact same figure, and um, I mean it's fine. You know what? The, um, I can't tell if it's supposed to be like that. I actually don't think it is, but I'll have to look at video. But like, it, I think it's just like a little imperfection in my, in my hilt. But it's a nicely, it's nicely sculpted. I like all the little paint apps on it. I like that the center of the blade itself is like darker than the rest of it, and I like the fact that it's not just a. I remember when I first saw the pommel in like season like whatever season two or whatever, it was like a pure white pommel and then as as it aged it got dirty and dirtier and you could see like the fine details of the fact that this used to be a bear head and now they got changed into a wolf head i thought that was i thought that's neat he also has this other accessory here which is encased in tape if i can get it out His little dragon glass uh, dagger, and I like the translucent piece they used to represent the, um, the little translucent piece they used to represent the, the dragon glass. It looks it looks pretty show accurate. I think in this show it's a little bit darker, but if you're gonna take photos of it, it's gonna come out darker anyway. Um, it comes out a lot more translucent in real life than it does in video, but it's nice. I like the texture on it. I didn't realize that it was on a wooden handle. Just from watching the show. Um, we'll get around to him holding the accessories in just one second. First, let's take a look at the figure itself. Here's Jon Snow himself. It's a decent enough likeness of Kit Harrington for like this size figure. It's, um, let's see, let me grab a ruler real quick. He stands. Ah! He stands at around six and a half inches, just from, just from like the bottom of his feet to the top of his head, um, six and a half inches. So he's in, he's, he's like a one twelve scale, relatively. Um, it's, it has some pretty good paint apps on it. I like the sculpting detail on it. Um, one thing I will say I'm a little disappointed on is the fact that there's no scabbard on the sword but i will say that this belt is a separate piece so i guess you, you could theoretically stick the, the sword in there yeah you could that's such a fucking gigantic ass sword you know like how he does in the in the show but that is a separate piece because technically this belt piece is supposed to be part of the scabbard um he doesn't really wear it if he doesn't have the sword on but i enjoy i like the fact that they included it and the fact that it is a separate piece because i think the belt uh is a cooler i, I always like the fact i always like the way that they had like the this like tied up at the front which is a design that i'm not used to other than game of thrones maybe it's a common practice in medieval times but i i like the fact that the i like the fact that the scabbards are on belts that are tied like that I enjoy that a lot. It's really nicely detailed. I can't see anything wrong with the with the paint apps as far as the figure goes. Like the only the only thing I notice right now is the sword, which is I'm not gonna cry about it. I just you know the figure looks really really nice. Um, I don't really own a lot of McFarlane figures. I actually only own uh, what like two other McFarlane figures. Um, one that I really like was the, the one that I really like was uh, the Edward Kenway figure from their first Assassin's Creed line, and the one that I was a little bit disappointed on is the um, the Clementine figure from their Walking Dead line. Oop, that's a ball joint that just straight up fell out. Put that back on. Please. There you go. Um, and be careful about that. The, it's really easy to pop that off, I guess. Um... But yeah, I would say that I would say that it's a decent enough likeness of Kit Harrington just from this size figure. 
Um, my lighting is a little bit weird, so it casts a weird shadow on him, but I think that shadow kind of helps it, helps the illusion that it is supposed to be Jon Snow, like Kit Harrington. Um, he's squinty. He's very squinty. Um, I think it's decent enough. Um, he... He is based off of his season seven look, and as as other reviewers have pointed out, he doesn't have his uh he doesn't have his big uh, fur, um fur cloak, which is something that I'm gonna arts and crafts in a later video. But um for now, this is what you're gonna get. Um so as far as articulation goes, um his head moves this much forward, um not so much back, more like it just goes up and then down more. Doesn't really look up very much. It's attached on the neck. Which is different. I like that. This whole tunic, by the way, is uh, is layered on top of the figure, which I enjoy. Um, which is something that uh, reminds me a lot of um, NECA's Assassin's Creed Brotherhood line. Um, where they have like a separate piece on top of the figure. And um, I, like that. I like that they incorporated that here. Because you still get the nice sculpting and detailing. But it doesn't, it's not really hindered by the... Uh, articulation is not really hindered by it. That being said, articulation on this is still a little bit limited. Um, I'm, I was kind of hoping for um, an upper bicep swivel, but you don't really need that because the the elbow swivels right here anyway. Um, arm goes all, just out just that much. doesn't go up any higher than that. Um, you can turn it all the way around. Um, elbow rotates to the elbow. Kind of goes at a 90 degrees. Yeah, it does. I'd say that's 90 degrees. Um... The wrists are on, uh, it's on, it's on McFarlane's little ratchet joint thing. So, um, you can, you can have the wrist go in and out or up and down, depending on which way you have it rotated. Um, there's a waist swivel in there. Not really a diaphragm joint, um, but it turns at the waist. Um, legs go forward that much, hindered a little bit by the skirt, go, go back that much. Again, hindered by the skirt, um goes out all the way to the side, um, no thigh cut, but it can rotate at the knee. Knee goes just a little bit under, what, like 30 degrees? Um, doesn't really go forward that much. And as you saw, I don't know if you saw earlier, but it's on a, the foot is on a ball, it's on a ball joint, so, um, it goes, it goes forward and back as, as much as you would expect it to. Um, and there's also a bit of ankle pivot on it. Be careful about that though, because it's very, it's very easy to come off. Also, the right foot has a hole in it for the peg for the stand, which works pretty well. Actually, it's, um, they put the hole in a place of the foot where you can get that, where you can get the peg in really deep. So it's not really cumbersome. You're not really worried about it falling down. Um, I'd say it's a pretty decent figure. I quite like it a lot. Um, it's a decent, en it's a decent enough likeness of Kit Harrington. Um, you know, it comes with pretty good accessories. Uh, let's see how well he holds them. Either way, dragon glass dagger right there, and long claw. Which, um, I don't want to force it too much. God, he's right. I watched Shardimus post a video where he tried to put the oh he tried to put the sword in the hand but the um the hand was so stiff that it actually snapped the um the sword handle because the hands are so stiff and he's god he's right <laughs> i'm actually kind of scared now i actually don't want to do that on camera but um the, the 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 dagger came in really nice um i thought i could just like push the thing in but because of the because of the lion or sorry the um the bear head fuck the the wolf head that's sitting at the at the end of it um oh no i i guess i got it kind of the hand is very very stiff you might want to run that under like some hot water or something um but boy that's fucking stiff oh i guess if you get the hand open like that and you just jam it in there um, there you go. It's him holding long claw. But, um, be careful about that, because it is, 
it is hard to get that sword that sword in there i guess now that it's in there i'm not gonna take it out. um but yeah i i quite like it i don't i can't really say much about the other figures in the line though I'm not really a huge fan of the night king and especially watching that last um, episode don't know if i'm going to be um and as far as the other figures in this line go um i mean i like the other characters enough it's just they're not very good likenesses of the characters also what uh, daenerys has like a full dress on in this in this outfit that they have her on and um it's it's one continuous piece so like Jon snow's like tunic has a slit right here so it doesn't hinder the articulation as much um, so you can still, like, move them around and whatnot. Not that you would be putting these characters in so many dynamic poses. As cool action heroes these these guys are, they spend a lot of time standing around and talking. Um, and Arya, um, although, she, although she's not hindered by the articulation as much, um, the, the, the face sculpts on either of these are, on either of these characters are not really that great. I'd say that, I'd say that Jon Snow's face is a little bit... It's, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if it's sculpted better or if it's just easier to translate, but, um, yeah. But, you know, to each their own. If you, if you think that this is a good enough likeness of Macy Williams and a good enough likeness of Amelia Clark, then go for it. But, I don't know. I just, I was always just partial to Jon Snow and, like, for some reason, and, um, I like this figure. So if you, if you're a fan of Game of Thrones, um, still, <laughs> especially after my last episode, um, Go ahead, go ahead, buy these figures. Um, they're available online. I got this off of Amazon. They're nineteen ninety nine. I think they might be available on Target too, um, although they might be sold out. So I think your best bet to find these now is online. So I would go get these as soon as possible because I think um, retailers are like losing stock on these. Um, so we'll see. Um, but I would, as a Game of Thrones fan, as a new Game of Thrones fan, I would highly recommend it. It's it's fantastic figures. Um, I think they're better sculpted, at least face-wise, than the Funko Legacy ones. And also, the Funko Legacy toys are a bit harder to come by these days, I would imagine. So, yeah. Um, go ahead and pick these up. Um, I got this, again, I got this specifically at Amazon. I don't think they're available on Big Bad Toy Store anymore. I think they're just straight up sold out. So, um, find them find them online. They're, they're just they're, just look up Game of Thrones McFarlane. They might be coming out with a, with a second set. Is it called the serious one? So we'll see. But um, anyways, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.